The Center for Philosophy of Religion presents Felix Culpa. What should Christians think about why God permits evil? Alvin Plantica has explored one reason that might justify God in permitting evil, a reason known by the name Felix Culpa, or the fortunate fall. Christians recognize many bad things in the world, like pain and sin, and they acknowledge lots of good things too like happiness and justice. But Plantica argues the greatest of the goods by far are incarnation and atonement. Incarnation and atonement are names for two very important Christian doctrines. The doctrine of the incarnation holds that the second person of the Trinity took on a fully human nature while retaining a distinct divine nature. The doctrine of the atonement adds that the work, suffering, and death of Jesus, activities made possible through the Incarnation, contribute to human salvation. These two goods are so tremendous, Plantica suggests, that they are better than any combination of other goods. And when added to any combination of evil and suffering, they tip the balance in favor of a very good world overall. In fact, Plantica advances a rather strong hypothesis about goodness. Namely, that every possible way things could have been, that includes incarnation and atonement, is better than any possible way things could have been that lacks incarnation and atonement. Let us call this claim the value hypothesis. Plantica then asks us to consider the following story. God aims to create a magnificent world, but given the value hypothesis, that level of value is achieved only if incarnation and atonement are present in the world. And incarnation and atonement are present in the world only if they are preceded by what Christians have called a fall of humanity. That is, only if human beings sin, which in turn results in evil and suffering. Therefore, concludes Plantica, one very good reason for God to permit evil is that doing so is required in order to create such a magnificent world. So, is the value hypothesis true? Is our separation from God by sin a fortunate fall, on the grounds that it is a necessary ingredient in all of the most valuable worlds from which God chooses to create? Plantica argues that we aren't aware of any goods that are better than incarnation and atonement, and that it's hard to imagine anything that could be comparable. If so, then Christians may have a distinctive response to the problem of evil worth considering. To learn more about these ideas, please visit planticavideos.com.